In this video we're going to look at an example of a nested loop and a nested loop is a loop inside another loop. Um, first we're going to set up the conditions uh, before we go into the loop. I'm just going to define a, a matrix Z where all the entries are just N A and this is essentially because we're going to um, put some values into a matrix but if we don't predefine a matrix then R doesn't know what we're talking about. You'll see this later on. And we're gonna uh, yeah apologies I just put n row and column but I didn't actually put the number of rows and columns. Uh, that's what happens when you try to talk and type at the same time and you're an idiot. Right. N row is equal to four and n columns is equal to four, two. Okay, there you go. And now you've also seen the purpose of uh, our error messages can be very useful. Uh, <laughs> for x in, put my brackets the wrong way. For x in the range six to nine in increments of one, um, we're going to open up a loop. And then inside this loop, we're going to start a new for loop for y in the same range. And I want you to think about once I've put in this this loop for y, what I was actually going to do and what it's going to return when I print my matrix z at the end. So we're going to take z, and when we open up these square brackets and put x minus 5 in y minus 5 this means the x minus 5th uh, row and the y minus 5th column of the matrix Z so you can see all, all the uh, entries in Z so far are defined as NA so we're, we're redefining them but you can see now that if we didn't define Z as a matrix before R would be confused when we put in the ith jth component of z because that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so we're going to assign that to the absolute value of x minus y. And then we're going to close, this is closing the loop for y, then we're going to close the loop for x. Okay, and we're going to print z, but I'll save enter for a minute. So let's think about what this is going to do. So as r reads this, it's got our definition for z and then it's saying 4x in the range 6 to 9 so it's going to start off with um, x 6 and it's going to work on the code and the next thing it's going to read is for y in 6 to 9 so and then it's going to so it's going to take y as 6 and then it's going to calculate 6 minus 5 1 um, 6 minus 5 1 so that's the the top left component of this matrix and it's going to take the absolute value okay and assign it and then it's going to go back up but it's going to cycle to this inner loop here and it's going to run through the entire inner loop for x equals 6 and then once it's finished it's going to go back up x equals 7 and keep going like that okay and we'll see what z returns as you expect on this diagonal you get 0 because here x and y are the same and then you get this symmetrical looking matrix because that's a property of the absolute value function so hopefully um, you can start to see how nested loops can be helpful we're going to do lots more examples on loops in the future videos if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like and subscribe if you've got any questions about this particular example didn't understand something then let me know and I'll try to clarify it down in the comments. But for now, that's it. Have a good day and I hope to see you in the next one.